Greetings and welcome to this edition of Positronic Hypersonic. I'm Barry P. Cook. I'm here to review the latest episode of She Hulk. It was called These Genes. As it begins, we see that not only has Titania copyrighted the name She Hulk, but she has apparently created a line of skincare products called She Hulk. And Jen has to keep from hulking out in the car on her way to work as she listens to radio chatter about it and sees billboards for it. And what's funny is you can actually buy <laughs> a makeup line called She Hulk in the real world, which is kind of funny. I keep seeing it advertised, so it's kind of crazy. But anyway, after this, we see that her brother is trying to make money by selling signed boxes of the stuff, not realizing that it didn't come from Jen. Jen goes with her paralegal Nikki to confront Titania at an event, but Titania is, as they say, recalcitrant and basically says, too bad, so sad. I'm not going to stop. Next, we see that Pug wants Nikki to stand in line with him for a sneaker drop because he's a sneaker collector and he wants more than one pair of the latest sneaker of some kind or other. And when he asks her to stand in line with him, she says she will, but she wants a favor from him. And that favor takes the form of him hooking her up with his guy that has fashion connections so that she can get some better clothing made for Jen. Apparently this guy has a gatekeeper that they have to visit beforehand. And before he hooks them up with the guy, we find out that he sells bootleg superhero memorabilia and that these items are things like hats and fake, you know, like plastic Captain America shields and shirts that say Avengers and Avengers because they're knockoffs, <laughs> which is hilarious. Of course, Jen doesn't think that she needs to consult with this guy, but Nikki and the other lady lawyer at the firm who's been tasked with handling the case over her name situation both inform her that indeed she does need to consult this guy for some better clothes. After some interesting legal maneuvering by both sides, Jennifer ends up prevailing in court and Titania is told to stop using the name as She-Hulk. And it was funny because the thing that ultimately won the day was, you know, Jen was trying to prove that she'd been using the name even though she hadn't copyrighted it before Titania copyrighted it. And at first it seemed like she wasn't gonna be able to really prove it because there was footage of her denying, you know, having anything to do with the name because she didn't like it. But then ultimately she was able to show that she created a dating profile under the name She-Hulk and was actively dating using the name. And a bunch of the guys that she went on bad dates with had to show up in court and explain how, you know, they, they knew her as She-Hulk. And it was pretty funny. <laughs> and she was, she felt kind of humiliated by it, which was even funnier, but it allowed her to ultimately win the day. Right before the credits, we learned that a range of suits has been made for Jen, including a special suit that we don't get to see. We only see it in like a suit bag, but we do get to see what looks like a work in progress daredevil cowl, which was cool because we know daredevil is coming. And then there was no tag at the end of this episode, which is disappointing. I always look forward to the tags. I really like this episode. Just as last week's episode was very funny, this episode was very funny. It was, again, sort of a breather between the heavier stuff in the beginning and the stuff that's coming towards the end, which I'm assuming is going to be a little bit heavy. The scenes with the fashion designer guy were hilarious. The guy that played that part was very funny. The courtroom scenes were great, I thought, just like they were last week. And I don't know why the writing staff at one point felt that they can't write good legal stuff or good legal drama, which they said in the press that they feel is the case. But I think they write perfectly good courtroom stuff. I think they did in, in the case of Blonsky's trial in the uh, well, not the trial, but the hearing before the parole board. I think they did in the, la in the last couple of episodes wrote good stuff for the court scenes. So I think they're doing a good job. One of the funny things in this episode just to get back to the funny, is that they actually showed Jen a couple of times in oversized clothes. In other words, she's She-Hulk, and then she shrinks down to Jen, and the clothes actually look oversized on her. They hadn't really shown that before, I didn't think, but this time they did a couple of times, and it was, it was really funny. She looks ridiculous. <laughs> Another good thing, I think, about this episode, and even maybe the last couple, 
is that we're starting to see how really Jen is anything but a Mary Sue, as she's been accused of being, you know, by the anti-woke crowd that sort of took a shit all over this show before it even came out. And then, you know, after the first episode aired saying, that, oh, she's automatically good at everything. Well, no, she's not. She's, you know, someone that may in fact be a legal brain, which we still don't know yet, but everything else around her is like a fail. <laughs> she stumbles at stuff. She's awkward at everything. The situations that she finds herself in are always just like ridiculous and sort of hapless. She's hapless all the time. So, and in that way, she's quite, I think, you know, relatable. She's just, she's a good, her, her life is like a goof. She's a goof. She's awkward. She's goofy. She just can't seem to, you know, win for losing um, in, in most things. And, and that's cool. So again, I, I'm, I'm really liking the show. I think it's, I think it has definitely, certainly after last episode, but definitely by this episode, it's certainly hit its, you know, comic stride, comedic stride. It's very funny. And I like it. I'm looking forward to next week's episode. I will, of course, be back with a review once it's released. I'm going to take off for now. Before I do, I want to remind you about my Teespring store. You can get cool merch there with the channel logo on it and other designs, T-shirts and, and so forth. And it really helps the channel. The link, of course, is in the description. But I'm going to go until I return. I wish you peace and long life.